Mm, hello. Welcome back. Uh, last time we left off, we were uh, just um, obtaining. I don't know why I had a brain fart there. We were just obtaining uh, some mechanical limbs for future uh, people who need them. And uh, we were going to continue moving east to the Great Desert. Um, I think the Great Desert's actually potentially a good spot to set up another forward operating base in. Uh, mainly because it's so close to the Deadlands, and I can probably keep people there and go back and forth. I don't know, we will see on that. But eventually I want to make my way back up to the Great Desert and do stuff up there. Um, I gotta remember this playthrough, we are enemies of the Holy Nation, so I want to definitely help out with that. And so right now, it's about to be dark. Yeah, we gotta get out of the Deadlands, so... And we're all running... 17, is it? And we get out of here. It'll just be a tad bit slower, I guess, but yeah, we should be able to make it out. I don't know what the scrap house is. I'm assuming it's something upstairs in here. I'll have to check that out later. Yeah, but we made out with a thieves treasure hoard um, of limbs. I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I'm kind of, well, yeah, I swapped two out. So yeah, 12. That's actually quite impressive. For Solo is really good with what he does now. I mean, he's, he is, uh, oh God. We're not going through the water, are we? Is that acid water? Okay, yeah, it's acid. Um, is there any way around that? I didn't realize we were... Yeah, can we go this way? I will happily run around that. No, oh, and gas. Sorry. Yeah, I just covered a video about um, anybody who is a veteran of Kenshi knows that uh, the whole standing on acid to lose your limbs stuff. Uh, there's there's things for that now. There's the um, there is the skeleton bed that does it, and then there is uh, also the peeler. But I feel like the peeler is more barbaric. hurts but we should be able to make it out of here get some acid clothing next time we come i didn't i forgot i didn't think that they had uh i thought they might have a store here that uh would sell it uh we're almost out ruins oh, okay I need to travel here to go to the ruins and see if we can uh, find some um, secrets.
I'm actually surprised we haven't run into anything yet. Like groups of stuff that like could bash us down. PlayStation 4. We're headed there. Finally we're out of there. Alright, we're we're safe now. Safer. And just in time too, it's getting uh, it's, yeah, it's dark, but we should be able to make it to Way Station without any issues. And the whole get off my lawn squad or our our main base at the moment is doing well. They got like thirty to forty dust with sam dust dust witch sandwiches. Uh and they're uh so they're thriving there, they're good. And then it's the recruits I think the first group died because it's not up here no more. And I'm seeing a dot down here slowly moving up to us. Yeah, just delivery target our, our base. So we'll see them there eventually. It feels like they show up out of nowhere, They're like there's a time limit and then they suddenly they appear. Alright, so we're making it to Way Station 4. Now, there's not a lot out here in the Grey Desert, from my understanding. Uh, this Way Station, though, is kind of a great base to work as. Like, if you're if you're starting off, like, from the beginning of this playthrough, if I came down here, I could have easily worked out of this Way Station for um, quite a while, because they have a... You can buy a tower here and use it as a forward thing. And I can choose to use that now if I wanted to. Oh, well, there's a limbs, robotic limbs trader here. Let's see. Hmm. And they'll actually buy my stuff. I'm tempted to keep everything that I can. Any specialist stuff. Only the blade. Hmm. Let me, um, actually I can't spend money. I, I would rather sell a few things to get kind of a stockpile of money. Now I'm thinking about it. So I think I can uh, let go of a few things here. So here, what was I just going back here for? I already forgot. Um, well, crap. Oh, um, fine. I wanted to look at his bag. Okay, is that. I can't remember what kind of backpack he had. He still got weapons on him. I have to hand those out. So let's take a look at how much will you give me? Probably sell the skeleton leg. Closet leg. Is that the... I got left. I would need a right. That's a left. Okay. Thief's arm. So we have actually two thief's arms that are specialist. Oh wait, no, wait, no. Thief, thief left. Thief left. I swore we had a thief right. I 
I guess we don't. I guess we got two, uh, maybe it was a skeleton. I'm pretty positive he had a thief left and right. I'm willing to bet that I, I saw this instead, and I grabbed it. I think it made me run back there. Because I wanted a set. I definitely don't have one on me. Okay, so we're definitely going to sell some. I don't think we're going to use the blade arms. I'm definitely going to sell that. I'll sell both of those. Keep the thief's arm. Skeleton leg left. We got a bunch of left legs. KLR left. Let's sell that. Shopkeeper can't afford it now. Uh, I'm fine with that, I guess. We got 37,000 now, so when those recruits come in, we'll be able to hire them all. All right, let's trade with everybody. I need Torso to carry a thief's arm. Alright, so now he can run 26, Doggo can run 27, so Doggo and Torsolo are going to separate from the, this group. Because we're going to go run back there. Making sure I got everything I want here. The all things we want to sell are here. Um... Those don't hardly weigh anything. We should be good. All right, Torcello and Doggo. The only thing is, is once he steals, he's gonna. We're gonna have a hell of a time um, with. Uh, you know what? I could probably give Doggo. Since we're here, we could buy Doggo's uh, backpack harness. He doesn't have to wear armor all the time. I guess it's either Hive Nation, Check Nation. Any of these got boot benefits? 80%, 90%. I get confused with the encumbrance reduction. I think it's the more, the better. Yeah. This is just uh, empty, it doesn't have pouches. We'll go and get that for now. And throw that on Bone Dog. That way he can carry stuff for me. Make sure this actually goes on him. It does. And he's got a backpack to work with. But for now, since it's empty, we're going to... Um, I was about to say, where'd the thing go? We'll go ahead and carry that. All right, you two go ahead and head back out to there. Now, these guys, what do we do with them? So we can go a couple routes of this. We could buy this. For 21,000. And use it as a thing to build up out of. They do have... Um, in this bar, I think they have construction materials.
No, it was uh, this building over here. Yeah. I forgot they have an armor salesman here too. Yeah, he's got building supplies, so we could technically buy stuff and build something. We'll see how much more stuff we can get from um, the uh, Black Desert City. Luckily, we got gear to withstand the uh, acid rain. I should not think about it. Is it just acid in general? I think it's just acid in general, so I think Torcello could swim across the thing. Doggo, I don't think can. Uh, hello, doggo. Can't see. Boy, they can run. It's almost like I'm fast forwarding. They're getting up there. Oh, and he's got a heavy backpack, too. I didn't realize that. Can they make it up from here? Or do they have to walk around? Oh, nice. We can go up there. All right. Yeah, made it back pretty quick. Only downside now is I don't have somebody to distract if I have to go rob from a a box. I don't think I can fit Doggo through the door. Cool. We could fit him to the door. Nice. Um, how much you got? Okay. Apparently, he doesn't have the thief arm. Did he restock? Well, crap, we ran back here for nothing. Um, well, might as well make the best of it. He did restock. Ooh, 30% chance, really? Ooh, yuck. What do they got, like, eye alert now? All right, well, let's go upstairs. Thirty percent chance. Is that because he's wearing um Oh it's because we don't have um our previous arms.
I just realized that. that that's a huge difference, isn't it? Lock picking thievery at 90%. If I actually take that off, it goes up to 75%. Um, I didn't look to see. Come on. Good. Steady arm. So now we can 100% chance on the rest of these. Hmm. LR right. Taking some big gambles here. All right, we're good. Go downstairs now. Yeah, there we go. There's the hundred percent I was looking for. I was like, why is it so little? We're good. We got what we came for. More stuff. This poor shop owner. All right, we're going to throw all of this. And doggo backpack. Oh, no, we're going to do the uh, lifter arms for sure. I just realized that we don't need to rob anymore. But we need to be able to carry. And... All right, how's that? 27 and 25. 25 is still good for Doggo. Oh, wait. Uh, let me pick up um, Bone Dog Armor. I am still at... Cannot... Container cannot be placed here unless it is empty. Oh. Um, well. Doggo, take that off for a second. We got food in it? Okay. There we go. Um, except I am now... Oh. <laughs> I forgot, you gotta unpause. All right, we're good. So we hard save here. We make our run back. So evil. So that's the power of um, the steady arm and a thief's arm. I would rather have two thieves' arms because that's 25%. This added only 10%, but it's just enough to get you over. Like, it supplements your your thievery. Like, right now, with the uh, the modifiers I have... Oh, wait, no, never mind. That was a doggo I was looking at. I think it actually adds to what you have already. Yeah. And we should be back before daybreak.
Let's check on the get off my lawn crew. Still as industrious as ever. It's building building materials. We got 38 dust switch sandwiches. Uh, 11 bread. Actually, I think, are we just low on cactus? We're low on cactus. Surprising. So yeah, we're actually making plenty of food, self-sustaining. Where is our, okay, they're just taking their sweet time getting up here. Hopefully they get up here soon. Still don't know what I want to do. Well, with these limbs that I'm bringing back, if I sell those to the um, the building material merchant, I'll probably buy the tower at the way station for the time being. We don't need to do any production or put any walls up at the moment. I'm trying to build a base here, at least not yet. I just need an area to operate out of. I just want to make sure we have enough money for the uh, recruits coming in. And you can also, with the Adventures Guild recruits, I covered this in my mod video, um, but you can hire all three races, but it's like you basically request one race to come to your front door, and it's either humans, hivers, checks, or there is like the specialist series, or, or in skeletons, and I think there's the final um, like high-end skeletons like we're like cost like 30k but they're worth it because they have uh all the stats that you would want so it's worthwhile stupid trial hate walking about so bored who is this guy sand ninja <laughs> he's got the hazing trial going on He's the new guy. He said, hey, could be a true sand ninja and walk across the desert. All right, so we got a couple things that I'm willing to sell. The blade arm, this leg. We picked up more specialist stuff. Okay, Torcello going here. I like how they, they'll buy my fence goods here. But yeah, buy that, buy that. Shopkeeper can't afford that. Uh, well, we will um, buy all of that. Because we'll probably need it. And then still can't afford it. All right, well, then we'll buy all of that. All right, and then he's practically broke. Shouldn't need copper plates. And that put us at 48K. So if we buy the tower, that's putting us at like 20. Uh, it's 27k. Buy it. Yep, 27k. How much it take to repair it? Uh, all of you. But can we? Repair. Build. Uh, this is going to be private, please, so get out of my, my building. So since I've re um, I've recently found a, a utility tool that re um, organized my mods it or um, as far as load order. And I think it did something good because I didn't realize some of these like all this talking right now. I didn't get that before, so it must have actually worked some wonders because, yeah, we're getting people that are just 
talking. Oh, what are they fighting? Blood Raiders. And do they have anything decent? Because I'll, I'll rob them. Give him all of that. Uh, Doggo, you work here. And then Beep, can you trade with Doggo? And work on that. This is Blood Raider. Not really worth. I'll take the uh, the money. Oh, did they get everybody out here? They did. Money's money, and they're all carrying it. Is that everybody? I think that's all of them. Unless there's one up here that I can't see. One right there. Okay, and go back to our tower. Alright, we're short on building materials, I think. He's got five left. We got 39 plugged in. We're going to need 20 more. So it's going to be like two day wait here. But we can afford to. We got, we got plenty of food. I think. Um, you two trade. You got food. Or Solo has food. Okay. Go ahead and speed up time here. Since uh, we're kind of waiting anyway. How is our... Oh, the recruits are showing up. Let me show that really quick. So... Of course, it's in the dark. Are they... Coming to this door? Wait, Hobbs, come down here. They're supposed to shut up at your front door. And the camera will actually jump to them and then be like, Excuse me. I have stuff. Here it goes. Yep, excuse me. Alright, open the gates. Mine is starving. Can we, um, patch, take a couple of those. Okay. Doggo should be fine now. Come on, Hobbs. We are from the Adventurers Guild. They're screaming that like two miles away. So we're uh, we're coming. We're we're getting there. Eventually, I'm gonna set up a bunch of uh, infrastructure here. I get to them before uh, I'm gonna beat your you meet. Um, 
Yeah, you go ahead. Is this a bunch of... No, it's a bunch of cannibals. Um... Fine, can you make it out here? Because Hob is, uh... He's in trouble. I just want to buy my recruits. Come on, Ayn. Okay, good. Good job, Hobbs. Still, we're coming out here. Whenever you're ready, I'm trying. There is a floating fogman with firefly. Okay, Hobbs, stop trying to do your job. Recruits are ready for your inspection. Alright, looks like we got... Check you out. Nice to meet you, recruit. Um, welcome aboard. Do some randomized stuff. What do we want? Somebody looks good. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. I'll take that. Uh, human recruit. Uh, name you Sally. Hobbs. Talk to this dude. Welcome. You already look decent. Mark. I'm just do some generic names here. I also realized I didn't have my overlay on this entire time. Oh well. Hmm, want some scorch landers? You got glowy eyes. Gotta have the glowy eyes. This looks like, uh... This guy back here looks like somebody who uh, I used to work with. Welcome aboard. Maybe we'll actually change the eyes. Or is that only I? I guess not. It's just the face. Okay, I'm. Who's attacking who? Oh, you guys better not run off. I'm not done with you yet. Where the hell Obs go? Obs? Holy crap, Hobbs just like took off. I wonder why they're leaving. No, come back. Yeah, welcome aboard. Oh, I like that. Oh, you storm. Still want more. We're hiring everybody we can get right now. Oh, damn, it's a white person. 
Um, hell, what do we call him? Call him Man. Manny. Alright, I think that's all. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five. Five new recruits. And we want to make the best of this. You, talk to you. Give me... I to change all their idle stances. There we go. Uh, okay, we'll call that good. Call you back up here. Mine's doing work up here. Somebody left all this stuff. <laughs> okay, well, you guys go ahead and head inside. And close the gate. Okay, guys, that'll be it for this episode. I'm Payne Sturdivant, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and take care.